first of all, congratulations on this documentary. Uh, you're an incredible actor, and you you're this is well deserved. Uh, how do you feel seeing so many amazing people talking about you know the impact that you've had on their careers? It's uh, it's to listen to people say it's almost like I paid everybody to say the same thing, you know, <laughs> and and it's. Uh, Uh, it's great because that's the way I've lived my life. And my biggest passion is running improvisational workshops with students or with just anybody. And at, at my age, everybody's a student, you know, Definitely. and, and uh, it's, uh, it's great. It's, it's great to, to get that positivity. And that's, that's what I the message that I would like to be out there is for people to realize, Hey, yeah, it is about you, but you can be kind. You know, by just being uh, uh, open to somebody else's input, that's the most important. How I, and to be interested in in somebody else, you know, because as performers, all of us we want I hear my music, buy my book, do this, this. But how do we do that so that we can make this world a better place? Yeah, I completely understand that. And. After years uh, in your career of being a character actor, how do you feel being in front of the camera talking about yourself as yourself? Well, I've kind of always done it. I mean, I've always been me uh, since I was th three years old that I started performing and with family and friends and performing is just living. That's what my life is art, is that performance of, of just being alive and going off of what somebody else, <clears throat> my take on what somebody else has just said and trying to make something funny out of it. And how do we do that? And you, I can see you're, you're a serious guy, you know, at least that's the demeanor that, that I get. You're intellectual, so you, you're deep about what you do. So I'm not going to be, try to, I, I'm more interested in like, you look like you're, uh, the way you're situated right now, like you're in a spaceship, you know, Like you're you're going from one planet to the to the next, you know, and it's like, uh, and I'm sure. Did, did you start reading when you were really young? The, yeah, I, I yeah. started very young reading, and I've always had uh, a high reading uh, level. So yeah, like that you can see, I can just uh, I can just get that. So that's what, and it's like, oh wow, man, I I picked that up. Everybody picks that up. They know who you are. Just because that's who we are. Everybody is who they are. And so not to be judgmental about yourself is the first thing. That the best way that you're not going to be judgmental about others. And and for you, I'm sure it's a, 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 a task to n not be uh, smarter than everybody else in the room, you know, or know, have more knowledge than them, and then not... You say, oh, how stupid, man! They just said something stupid, and not not go there and just just take it in for what it is, and not make it personal because it's uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> uh, you you've had an amazing acting career, but you're you're also a painter. I, I I was introduced to your art a couple of years back. Um, what got you into art, and why why this style? Because this style is very very happy, very light. Yeah, that the style is. It comes from from within, right? The colors that I like to put in all my my characters and my one man show that you haven't seen yet is El Ruco Chuco Cholo Pachuco. So I go back the Zoot Suitor, the guy in the Serpent Eagle Warrior that goes back thirty thousand years, the first superhero for Chicanos, and and he's that spirit of when the eagle and 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 the serpent connect, you know, and how they're the That's who inspires us to go on. But but, what what was the question? I'm sorry, I, I threw myself off there. Uh, how did you uh your art? Uh, why is it so happy? Yeah, it's so light. My 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 wife created me as an artist. Uh, she she's such a visual person and loved colors. So, uh, so I, and I I loved them too growing up, but not not to the extent that she does. Like you see my house. And that's my wife picking the colors and sitting in a room for three days, uh, zeroing in, zeroing in on what color she's going to use, and and she's like, 
deep, you know, she's a Scorpio and a snake and she's very passionate in me. I'm, you know, I can come in and out. I can use different colors. I can, you know, but a lot of times if, if uh, that she, I'll listen to what she says about, about the art. And if the color isn't to her liking or something, I'll, I'll listen to it. I'm not the kind of artist that says, no, I'm the artist. You just stay out of my life here. No, our life is together. And, and uh, yeah, that's that's what I love. Is, is I love that brightness and I love the humor in life. Uh, that's kind of where I live. But that's beautiful. Um, Now, as a veteran actor, uh, how important is it to not only be a mentor, but to teach and to provide opportunities for the next generation? It's it's everything because I, I was I had it since I was a kid and it's a different kind of training. It's not, you know, what, what we need. Why are Shakespearean actors so good? Why do they have so many English actors and Canadian actors here in the United States playing Americans? Mm -hmm. You know, you have more English uh, actors playing Americans than, than we have Latinos playing Americans. And because that's what we are first, right? If we're born here, were you born here in the States? Yes, I was. Yeah, so we're Americans. I mean, we're we're Latino. We are what we are, but we came up to the same educational system as everybody else. And that's that's why, and especially you, who's a reader, have known that since you started knowing what words meant and that words have no culture or uh, <laughs> uh, race or religion. Uh, that's that's what I say. You know, we are what uh, the male, female, whatever, whatever sign we are. All of all culture, all that. But our brains, man, they, they there's no there is no male or female to it. I mean, we're everything. We're anything that we can conjure up uh, and move with it. And that's kind of what why my book is is my book is like four books in one. It's a art book. Um, my, um, uh, a how-to book, uh, uh, my philosophy, behind the scenes in Hollywood for 55 years, and and as a performer for 76 years. So it's it's a fun, happy book. Yeah, uh, most people, you know, your, your, your most iconic role for most people is the one in Scarface. But uh, I grew up watching a lot of Westerns, so I remember you from all these Westerns. How do you feel portraying uh, Latinos for you know in this westerns because the cowboy came from his from the Hispanic uh, yeah, culture you yeah. know how do you the, think the vaquero tejano you know the vaqueros how how knowing they're going back is like okay the the vaquero started off from the Moors invading Spain for eight hundred years the the Arabs brought the horses to Spain. And then Spain brought the horses to Mexico. And then Mexico brought the horses to the States. And then, so, so that's, that's an incredible thing is the language. A lot of the Spanish that we think is Spanish actually came. It's in Arabic words, you know, and, and what, how do we tap into that and know more about it? That's why everybody one of my they got to read i wasn't a reader early on not until i started doing this motivation stuff but yeah it's it's uh, fabulous to be to be part of that and to play my first western with gregory peck eight years after he won uh the academy award to kill a mockingbird and then silverado where i didn't have to play a mexican they left me a scruffy, so I, I'm from Texas. I wanted to be play a redneck guy, Lee Bobby Joe. Yeah, that was my first one. That was the same thing. They changed. They gave me the part. The name of the character was Andy Luke, but then they changed it to Pepe when they gave me the part and made me half Mexican, half Indian. And so, but they didn't change the dialogue. They didn't change one word in the dialogue. They, they named me Pepe, the character. So. I was straight out of Texas, guy. So I just played it like Bobby Joe. I had done no time for sergeants, uh, Andy Griffiths, in, in the contest uh, in schools around the country and around the, Texas. And so I, I just did that. Golly, Bobby Joe was just straight from no time for sergeants. Golly, yeah. you know, definitely. And um, you know, with this documentary, uh, how cathartic has it been to re-examine your life and your career? 
it, it's it's incredible. It's incredible. And it's like, you know, I'll be 80 this year, but that that doesn't mean anything. Uh, it's like I, I still have, I'm still, I can still get a phone call this afternoon to for the next great part. Actually, I am doing a, a great movie where I'm starring in uh, that my friend has been working on it for years and years. I mean, years and years. And a psychologist who works with children on the spectrum and other diseases. And so it's heavy, heavy material. But my character is very light because it's my story. I'm an artist. I've been through cancer. Uh, and so it's I do the improv workshops. I treat my patients like that, you know, it's not a heavy duty psychologist. He's a, he's me. Mm -hmm. It's, I just bring that into it. So yeah, it's just fabulous to, to have that and just trying to get it out to the public, you know, trying to get our people to promote it and stop complaining about not having anything. How, how do we, how do I get more eyes on the screen to on the 21st, get people to start watching? and show Amazon. And those people that like to write reviews, if they do it, the algorithms will change and say, oh, if you get 250 people to write a review for my show, it'll go right to the top of documentaries with Amazon mm -hmm. without me paying all the tons of money that the studios have to pay. You know, but it's hard to do. It's hard to, to get people to write a review. It is hard to do, but you have an incredible story. Congratulations on this. And I do hope that you get all the success from this because you are an incredible person and an incredible actor.